Hey everyone! So I'm here with another toy slash Christmas slash clearance um, slash savings haul. I this is something I enjoy doing. It's a fun little hobby of mine. Um, my kids will not get all this stuff. If they do, they won't get it all at one time. So some of it we put back for birthday presents for other children because now they're getting to that age where it seems like there's birthdays every month that they're invited to. Some of it, you know, we'll donate to bless someone else who may be less fortunate. Um, but I've got things from Target, Walmart, and Kroger of all places. Um, I found some really good deals. The Kroger deals I just kind of stumbled up on, but it just shows that you can find really good deals everywhere. It is very important to me that my children have a good Christmas. We are a single income family. We have a side business, but it does okay, but it's not the equivalent of if I were teaching full time which is what my education in degrees and everything is in. But I have put all that on hold to stay home with my children while they're little. That is something that both me and my husband decided to put a priority on. So we really don't have a lot of extra money, and which is fine. Our bills are paid. We've got food you know what there's not much more you could ask for but I do like for my children to feel a little spoiled on Christmas and their birthdays so I shop all year and I absolutely love shopping in the summer because stores are clearancing out all their toys well most of their toys to make room for the new Christmas things and personally I cannot I cannot afford to wait until the last minute when everything is full price. And I do a little bit of Black Friday and Cyber Monday shopping, but to me, these deals are even better than those because those may just be a select one or two things that are, you know, 50 or 70% off versus, I mean, I went to Target and there was like two aisles of toys that were 50 to 70% off I I've already done the one haul so the second time I went around I had to kind of really restrain myself <laughs> not to go crazy so the first thing I'm going to show you are these our generation so this is the um, Target American Girl knockoffs and these were originally, they're anywhere from $25 to $30 full price. So this guy was $7.48. So he was 70% off. And I, there were two of them left, and I got both of them. So I got one for one of our friends who has a birthday coming up in October. And then I got the other one to put up for my daughter when she's a little older and more in to these type of dolls. She does have one of the, I think it's My Life from Walmart that she got for her birthday. And she plays with it, but she doesn't, I don't feel like she's of the age where she can fully appreciate the really big, you know, 18 inch dolls yet. So I'll be putting one of them up for her and then the other one I'm going to give as a birthday present. So, and those were originally $25. So both of those would have been $50. So everything I got, I want to say was like $51 after tax and everything. It might have been a little bit more. I can't remember off the top of my head. But basically, I got all the stuff from Target for what I would have given for just those two dolls. So, I got some more of these DC superheroes. So this is a set of two. 
And this was $8.98, originally $30, $29.99. I was really excited to find this. Um, my daughter's big thing right now is Barbie and Doc McStuffins. So she loves Barbie and she loves pretending to be a doctor. She's always giving me checkups. So I found this for 70% off. So it was around $5. It doesn't have a sticker. Because I remember it was in the clearance aisle, but it didn't have a sticker. So I had to scan it and it scanned for like five twenty eight or something like that. So it just... It comes with the little doctor's coat and then a couple of the, a shot and what a hammer, syringe and hammer. So, and this she will be getting for Christmas. So that is one of her Christmas presents. Okay, both of my kids love the Imaginex, the little Imaginex characters. So I got this Star Wars one for $2.98. So it's Kylo Ren. I think that's supposed to be Ray. And then I got this one. It was $2.08 and it was a Teen Titans one, which my kids don't watch that show. Um, I just, I feel like they're too young for it. But I knew my daughter would like it because it's a girl. So, I got those. And then I thought this would be, be a cute stocking stuff for this was $1.78. So this was originally $6. And then were originally, this one was originally $10. And this one was originally seven. So, so this was six, so it was $1.78. But it's just these little foam Nerf cars. And then, this was the last thing I got from Target, I believe. And I thought this was just an amazing deal. So, and this was $11.98, originally $39.99, and on clearance for $11.98. So, it's just the, I don't, Alina? Elena? I sure how they pronounce her name. My kids don't watch the show, so I don't know. But my daughter loves babies. But this I may put up. Um, I don't know yet if she's going to get this one for Christmas or not. But I still thought it was super cute. I wasn't going to leave it sitting there for $12. Okay, so that was Target. Walmart... To me, Walmart's kind of hit or miss. Sometimes you go to their clearance aisle and they have really good deals. And sometimes you go and it's like a dollar off. But I thought this one was cute. So, it's again a Barbie and she'll be getting this to go with her little doctor's coat. So, this is the Kiss and Care pet kit. So, um, it comes with the puppy dog and the little doctor's case and a bottle. And then all of these little vet instruments up here I thought this was super cute and this was $13 and I want to say when I looked online it was 30 so I really liked that one I thought that was cute okay that's all in that bag and then I just got a couple of other things from Walmart I know it seems like everything's for my daughter but that's just kind of what I've been finding right now. Sometimes it seems like I just only buy for my son. But they're, they get the equal amount of gifts and money spent and everything. But um, he's really getting into Legos. They're so expensive. Oh, my goodness. So pricey. But that's his thing that he's into. So I picked up this Star Wars one. This was $9. And I want to say this was like 20 full price it might have been 18 but if I can get Legos at half off a lot of the stuff I kind of watch to see when it goes 50 because I know it'll be going 70 if it lasts like if there's several of them um but the Legos are one thing that kind of 
if I see them at 50% off, I usually grab them because they very rarely, I've only ever once seen one go more than 50 and it was a little bitty miniature one and they had like 500 of them. And then lastly, um, there's this Disney Princess Pocahontas and she was $5, which I thought was a really good deal because she was originally 15 so, um, she comes with this little Miko water gun. And I think her dress changes color if you put her in the water. So, that was Target and Walmart. Now, the other place I went to was Kroger. And it's just, I mean, you can find good deals anywhere. Um, but... I went grocery shopping and I just happened to mosey on down the like manager special clearance aisle and the seasonal items and the seasonal stuff, they are clearancing out all of their candy to make room for their Halloween candy. And so I did, I stocked up on that because usually stocking stuffers, I do wait until like the Christmassy stuff comes out at the Dollar Tree, which that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. That my kids eat it. I personally don't really care for the kind of candy that comes at the Dollar Tree, but they don't, but they don't mind. Um, but I looked at this, and it's all end date, and it's not going to expire before December. It all has Best Buy dates until like. 2019 2020 so it's nowhere close to expiring and they're just trying to make room for the halloween candy because half of it was current like summer style candy and the other half was halloween candy so i got some stuff for as low as like 34 cents so i'll go ahead and show you what i got so they each got their own little bag going there was only a couple things that was different everything else was the same so um just <clears throat> so they each got one of these little packages of gumballs and this was like 40 cents or something like that they each got one of these little chocolate wonder balls which was 39 cents i remember those from when i was a kid they each got this big old lollipop and i want to say this was 60 cents so and I've seen these at the Dollar Tree for a dollar a piece. Again, childhood. This big league shoe. So that was 45 cents, I think. These were a real these were like 30 cents. These were so cheap. The sour punch straws. Another of the little I don't know what this is, but it's a dinosaur thing. And it was 54 cents, something like that. I thought this was so cute. This was this is my son's. My daughter's is different, so I'll show you hers in a little bit. But it's like these little tie and it's like bubble gum. It's so cute. Um, these were a dollar fifty, and these were originally five or six dollars. So I did go ahead and grab a couple of them. And then this was different my daughter didn't get one of these so this is my son but it's this little Chewbacca candy dispenser and this was the last one they had left and shouldn't have done that so <laughs> this was a dollar twenty but I thought it was really cute so And then my daughter got everything the same except um, she got a little rainbow unicorn instead of the puppy dog. And instead of the little Chewbacca candy dispenser, she got these Crayola washable markers. And these were $1.99. And we went the other day and these were always check out the little manager special and these were there and she threw a fit for these baby markers she loves to color she loves to draw she's like me 
and I didn't get them. But then when I went back last night, um, when I went by there, I was like, well, if they still have them, I'm going to go ahead and grab them for her to go in her stocking because she just, she had a fit over them. So there was that. And, uh -oh. oh, and these I found in the very back of the store in a bin for 39 cents. So they had all kinds of these um, little fun size candy bars. And these are good until July 2019. And I just grabbed a couple to show, but I got a ton. And I got some not only for my kids, but also for the kids at church I work with as incentives. So... There was that, and then I did, because you know every place has toys now. So, I did pick up this little Lego thing, and it was originally $25, and it, well, $25 at Kroger, it's probably $15 at like Walmart or something, and it was $7.50. And it, it was open, but when I got it home, my husband got it out to make sure all the pieces were there, and I think, like, one, this guy right here and his motorcycle, I think, was missing. But it was still a good deal. So, and my son, I mean, these things are so expensive. But he's probably just going to, I mean, he just loses them. I like he, he builds them with the help of his dad. And then, and then he tears them apart. And then they just go in a bucket with all of his other Legos. So, to me, it wasn't worth the trouble to take it back for that one little guy missing. So that was seven fifty, and then these puzzles were a dollar forty nine. So I thought this would be really good. I'll probably save this for when the kids are a little are, are older for learning the states. And then there was the little vehicles and the little farm animals, which my son's kind of getting a little old for these type puzzles. He actually likes the smaller, like 24 piece and 48 piece puzzle puzzles, but my daughter still enjoys these. But I think what I may, I don't know. I don't know if I'll give it to them or if I'll just save it for my niece who is two for um, her birthday or Christmas or something. So anyway, that is my haul. Thank you guys for watching and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.